It is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. Because I assure you, I've done a lot of really stupid things and none of them bother me. All the mistakes and all the dopey things and all the times I was embarrassed, they don't matter. Last August, I was told that in all likelihood, I had, I had three to six months left to live. Somebody said to me, in light of those numbers, wow, so you're really beating the Grim Reaper. We don't beat the Reaper by living longer. We beat the Reaper by living well and living fully. For the Reaper will come for all of us. The question is, what do we do between the time we're born and the time he shows up? Because when he shows up, it's too late to do all the things that you're always going to kind of get around to. When I was 17, I read a quote that went something like, if you live each day as if it was your last, someday you'll most certainly be right. And since then, for the past 33 years, I have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. And you will need to find your passion. Many of you have already done it, many of you will later, many of you may take till your 30s or 40s, but don't give up on finding it, right? Because then all you're doing is waiting for the reaper. As a child, my parents always told me, you could be whatever you want to be, you could do whatever you want to do. But I didn't totally believe it. Yet I went out in the world and I carried myself and I held my head high and I stood there and I looked people in their eyes and I talked to people as if I was deservant of everything that this planet has to offer. I really want to say to, to children out there and to, to people who are watching, Confucius said one time, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. And I want you to keep in your heart, just know that you can. Know that you can. And it is going to get hard, and you're going to want to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. I definitely found that uh, wanting to be an actor stems from wanting to be somebody. I said, I'm not losing. I'm still here, I'm fighting, I'm not losing. When you die, it does not mean that you lose to cancer. You beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and in the manner in which you live. Find your passion and follow it. You will not find that passion in things. And you will not find that passion in money. Because the more things and the more money you have, the more you will just look around and use that as the metric, and there will always be someone with more. I want the world to be better because I was here. If you are not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. You know, like the, the, your life will become better by making other lives better. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it, is you have to believe it. Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? What's the point of being realistic?